Hello, today's product spotlight from Little Sproutings will be on Green Mountain Diapers Clothies for Horse Fitted Diapers. So before I get into the diapers, I want to just let you know that before I was even pregnant, I knew I wanted to cloth diaper my babies. I wanted to do it because I was cloth diapered as a baby, mom said I never had a diaper rush ever, uh, my husband was cloth diapered, and I also wanted to limit the impact on the environment from throwing away diaper after diaper. You may go through hundreds, even thousands of diapers. Um, I wanted a cost-effective method that wasn't just gouging my you know, our bank accounts just to pay for diapers, and I wanted to minimize the exposure of a sensitive baby's skin to harsh chemicals, perfumes, dyes, materials that kind of uh, limit breathability up, up against the skin, so I knew I wanted a cloth diaper. Now finding the right system is the part that's more difficult, so it's kind of taken a little bit of trial and error, but we have found a system now that works. There are so many other different ways to cloth diaper. This isn't the best way necessarily. It's just the best things that I have tried and they've sort of been our tried and true methods. Um, so to start off, just out of to, so you can see a comparison, the traditional route for cloth diapering is with a cotton prefold. Uh, there are other types of prefold diapers that have bamboo and microfiber. Honestly, 100% cotton was something that I was introduced to by a friend from nursing school who cloth diapers her baby, and uh, she just really recommended all cotton. After doing some research and using these, I realized that that is really the way to go because it doesn't retain smells, washes and dries, so simple, they're really easy to care for, there are no nonsense, throw it in, use regular detergent, just not one that's like OxyClean or anything, um, but just throw it in the wash with hot water and you're done. Like there's no special care, no special requirements for having to deal with all cotton. So anyway, and they dry really fast. So anyway, this is your traditional prefold. This has three different panels. You have the two side panels and then the center panel that has the most layers of absorbent cotton. This is a really thick, nice, absorbent center core, and then you have the sides that are also made out of 100% cotton. Um, so the easy way to cloth diaper, if this works for you, which it didn't work for us, but it might for you, simple way is just to fold in the sides and then place it in your diaper cover. Now, uh, the ways that we have done, we use these pre-folds, is we just put our baby on top, her bottom about here, you fold in the sides, and there are a lot of different YouTube tutorials on how to fold cloth diapers that you can check out. Uh, there are different ways you can fold, but this is called a newspaper fold. So this is how you fold this around your baby, your baby's legs sit in here. You can secure it with a snappy here, or traditional diaper pins, you just stick them on each side. Like I said, you could also do the triple fold and just lay it in the diaper cover. Honestly, Gia would, it, we'd have accidents when, when we had them just laying in the cover without it secured around her body. Uh, other ways you'll find online, you can just take these and twist them in the middle and then fold it up. But anyway, this isn't a video about how to cloth diapers, so moving on. You put a diaper cover over these, whether it's the fitted diapers or your pre-folds or whatever, if you just put inserts in. You use a diaper cover. This is what will, you can reuse and reuse throughout the day depending on the level of soil you have. There's a waterproof interior made of polyurethane. And on the outside, this one is polyester, but there are so many different companies. Uh, you can check them all out on GreenMountainDiapers.com, but they have so many vendors that offer cloth diapering systems. So you can have cotton on the outside, wool, um, so many different options. This is a one size fits all, so it fits from about eight pounds to 40. This is from Kissa Loves, and this is the Marvel color, I mean Marvel style. This one, which is what, this style is what we've been using since Gia was two months old. Um, this is a Thirsty's Duo Wrap Puffer, and this one is a size two, so it goes from about 15-ish pounds up to 40, but before your baby hits that, you need a size one. I think they do have one size fits all ones, but, Anyway, this is the one that is specially designed to accommodate a fitted diaper, which was sent to us courtesy of Green Mountain Diapers for this review, so thank you. But I really like this cover. Um, it, it's, like I said, specially made for the fitted diaper. It's all in one, depending on 
the snaps you use for the rise settings and it works really well. So getting into the fitted diapers. The first one, this is a medium size, so it's a red edge, medium size white workhorse fitted diaper. They're called fitted diapers because they're sewn and made so that they are contoured to your baby. Obviously you can see big difference here. Pretty easy to see. It comes with a doubler, which is which adds a different level of absorbency into your diaper. It's unattached, so it's just attached at one side so it makes for easy drying time in the dryer. But all you do is put this on like a traditional diaper, and this one is snapped, so you just snap around your baby. Now, you'll see later in the demonstration video how this compares to folding and pinning a diaper or pre-fold around your baby, but this makes diapering so easy. Uh, let me tell you, I mean, if you are getting into cloth diapering and you're considering switching to, to cloth from disposable, this is a really easy way to lessen the level of trauma between if dad is helping diaper or, you know, a caregiver, you know, grandma isn't really good with her hands or if someone has arthritis, even if your daycare center um, is hesitant because using pins and everything could be potentially hazardous or whatever the reason, these make cloth diapering so easy. I was hesitant when we started using these pre-folds that it was the, the, the trial and error that comes with learning how to fold and pin was going to turn off my husband to cloth diapering, but he actually says he has no problem using these. And I actually think that since these are really cheap, these are a great way to start out cloth diapering while it's convenient. If you don't have a baby that's wiggling around and trying to get away from you every diaper change, these are really not a problem when they're young. I really like these now that Gia is older and wants to scoot away. So, This next one is the organic, so it's a tan color. The edge is brown, so this is actually a large. This is the one that Green Mountain Diapers sent also. Um, and this one is a non-fastened one. Now, same features, the elastic leg gussets, the fitted shape, and the doubler. All you do is pull this up around your baby and you add your diaper pin or your snappy. The benefits of using a non-fastened fitted diaper is that you can, you can size it to however you need to, to fit around your baby. These you have to find an appropriate snap to put around your baby, but this offers the appeal of having a completely customizable fit. So whether or not you have a chubby baby or a skinny baby, you know, you just you just fit it to what works for you. So, and the cost between this non-snapped one and a snapped is just a quarter. So really it's not, no, no, the, the difference between this and the non-organic is a quarter, but between non-fastened and fastened, there's no price difference. So you really don't have to decide whether or not you're going to save money to have a snap or not, or, you know, it makes the decision really easy. So it's just all about personal preference, not about money. So anyway, this is a large. This is the one um, my mother-in-law ordered about eight of these right after she saw me use these when we were out shopping because it makes it so easy for her. Um, she wanted to make sure she had her own stash for when she babysits, so she, you know, luckily we got a nice big order. When I only had these two diapers, I couldn't wait to do my diaper laundry. I kept doing laundry every night so that I could get my hands on these two the next morning. I really couldn't wait to use them. They're so easy, so convenient, and I was really kind of dreading folding a diaper around Gia after I got used to the convenience of a fitted diaper. So thank you, Joyce, for putting in this order. I love these so much. So anyway, this is the organic snapped one, like I said. So the difference between the snapped non-organic and the snapped organic, if they were the same, you know, depending on your size, it's just a quarter difference. So it really makes the decision all about whatever you find easiest for you. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the demonstration videos next to see how different it really is switching from a pre-fold to a fitted diaper. And I hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to visit GreenMountainDiapers.com if you have any other questions or want to look at other types of diapering methods. Okay, so for the first part of this demonstration, we're going to show you a traditional pre-fold diaper. So you first put the diaper underneath your baby to about waist height. You want to make sure your baby is in the middle, which is sometimes tricky. Uh, you 
first going to bring in the sides of your cloth diaper, fold them and fold them up and then spread the top waist to secure from the back part of your diaper. Whether or not you're using a snappy or a diaper pin, it's really important to try to just snug that back part of the cloth diaper to get a nice, nice taut fit. We're using the traditional diaper pins as you can see. I really like the Green Mountain Diaper diaper pins because they glide through the fabric really, really well. Other diaper pins that I've used are have a little more blunt of a tip so they're harder to push through. So once you finish fastening your diaper, which sometimes can take some time, you want to make sure you're checking the legs. Uh, make sure that there's not a lot of excess fabric. Tuck them in on the sides and then get try to get baby back into position as soon as you can. Sometimes this is tricky. But when they're moving around, sometimes the, your fold can come undone. So just make sure that when you're putting your diaper cover on, that you're checking. So as you can see, we are still checking the legs, making sure we're pulling the diaper cover up and around the fabric, and we're securing. The fabric, I mean, the diaper cover we're using here is a Kisas one. I really like the Kisas Marvel. It's the one that Green Mountain Diapers sent to us for this review. Uh, what you want to do is check here. See you have some extra overhang from your pre-fold and you want to tuck into the leg gussets to make sure you don't end up with wet and soaked clothes. Next, we're going to show you the organic non-snapped fitted diaper. You can see that the flaps are already formed so you don't need to tuck anything, you don't need to fold. It's just as simple as pulling up your diaper and fastening it with your pin. It's much quicker as you can see. All you have to do is do a quick diaper pin because you didn't have to spend time folding up your diaper. It's so much faster, so much easier, and especially if you have a baby that's just ready to, to roll around and play, it makes life a lot easier when you're, when you're diapering. As you can see, Gia has a hair elastic that she is distracting herself with. So. so you just put your diaper cover on top, and then you'll see after it's being secured around your baby, you really don't run into the problems of having excess fabric hanging out at the leg gussets because it's all tucked in. So this last one we're going to show is the non-organic. This is the white workhorse with the snaps. All you do is put your baby in the middle of your diaper. You bring up the front and all you do is snap. You don't have to worry about any pins or snappies. It's just done in an instant. So what you can see is that we have contoured leg gussets. No worries about extra fabric hanging out. And your baby is ready to roll around. and. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration video and that it helps address any questions or concerns that you might have had about going from a pre-fold to a fitted diaper. I obviously think that these fitted diapers are absolutely wonderful. I think they make cloth diapering so easy, so simple, second nature. It has added benefits of having a snug leg gusset so the likelihood of you having any leaks or spills from any sort of solid waste. Um, are really minimized and they make the fit just so much better when you're using them as your cloth diapering system but you need to obviously check them out yourself so if you are deciding whether or not to go from pre-fold to a fitted diaper or even if you haven't decided whether or not you are cloth diapering your baby go ahead and visit greenmountaindiapers.com click the link new to cloth info they have a whole page dedicated to addressing any questions or concerns that you have about cloth diapering and they even offer a suggestion for whatever your budget may be and how what what blend of products that you should order that they recommend when you're just getting started so thank you so much to elizabeth from green mountain diapers for allowing me the opportunity to do this review and thank you so much for checking in and watching this video thanks bye